You know, as the dad of a one-year-old, there are many occasions where I end up falling asleep at a time I didn't really intend to, and, well, last night that caused me to miss editing today's video. However, luckily, Way of the Hunter came to save the day with a animals list to show you guys. Now, this actually was released, I think, a day ago. However, I'm just now seeing it, so we're going to cover it today. But this is going to be every species on both reserve, and it's all going to be in one list for you guys to see. Now, it is pretty cool to see them releasing this so that we know exactly what to expect out of the map. And there's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't expect. And, well, let's get into it. And now, as of now, there is no trailer accompanying the European Reserve. However, we do now know every single species that's going to be on it. So, let's go over the species that are going to be on the European Reserve. I would go over the others, but we've already done that in a different video. So, we're not going to go over all of the uh, North American Reserve species. But since we didn't really know much about the European Reserve, let's go over all of the animals that are going to be there. So the first one that we have is the Brown Bear, then we've got the Eurasian Badger, the European Hare, the Fallow Deer, the Grey Lag Goose, the Mouflon, the uh, Roe Deer, Red Deer, and the Wild Boar. Now, I'm going to assume that Pheasant are probably going to be on both maps. That definitely seems like a species that would. Same with Red Fox. It seems like they could be on both of the reserves, so maybe they will be. I'm going to assume they probably will. Though at the same time, I don't know if Way of the Hunter is going to be putting species on multiple maps or if it's going to be different on each map. I guess we'll have to see when it comes to that, but let's go ahead and talk about a few of these species and what I expect to see out of them. And obviously, we got to start with Red Deer. That is my favorite species of all time in real life and in all games as well. And to have Red Deer, I feel like that is a massive massive positive for the European Reserve and I'm probably going to spend quite a bit of time there hunting them and seeing what the variety is like because Red Deer are by far my favorite species. So it's going to be quite a bit of fun to try and figure out uh, just how much variety the Red Deer have. I'm interested to see what this randomized antler system is going to be like on them because uh, we've seen a lot of different looking Red Deer throughout all of the different uh, hunting games through the Cabela's games, uh, the Hunter Classic, the Hunter Call of the Wild, and then the um, interesting attempt at Red Deer that uh, Hunting Simulator did, which let's not even talk about that. It's also very interesting to see not only the American Badger on the North American map, but also the Eurasian Badger on the European map. It is very interesting to see that we're going to get two different species of Badger. I didn't expect one, not alone, let alone two. That's pretty cool. Definitely interested to see what those guys are like. You know, chamois are another very interesting one on here that I didn't really expect. Now, whenever I'm thinking of like a European reserve, I'm thinking similar to something that the Hunter Call of the Wild or Classic would have done for maps like Hirschfelden. But I think I forget that there is a lot of different areas in Europe that are quite different. And so seeing chamois on here did take me a little bit by surprise. However, it is really good to see them. Chamois are a cool species to hunt in Call of the Wild, and I imagine that they'll be quite a bit of fun here as well. My only hope is that they will be high up in the mountains where they're supposed to be. And I'm going to assume they will be since we've seen the mountain goats and bighorn sheep in the uh, Northwest Reserve uh, trailer all up in the mountains. So I imagine that it's going to be the same with the chamois, but I guess we'll have to see. And obviously, the fallow deer and the roe deer are going to be a couple favorites of a lot of people, and I'll probably hunt them quite a bit as well, especially the fallow deer. I mean, fallow deer are just an amazing species in general. Lots of people love them, including myself, and I'm very excited to chase some of those down. And also, I guess before we go further in the video, I should probably mention that because I did just wake up and then went straight to recording this, my voice may sound a little bit rougher than normal because I, I have just woken up and had to immediately get to recording this, so uh, apologies if I sound a little strange, but let's continue with the list. We also got the Mouflon, which I'm very excited to see on here. Any time that we get multiple, like, sheep species is always cool, because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of games that kind of left them out for the longest time. We didn't get them in Call of the Wild until a few reserves had released, we didn't get them in Classic for quite a long time, and there was a lot of uh, Cabela's games that they were left out of as well. Obviously, they weren't in the Deer Hunter games, so I feel like it's awesome to see stuff like the Mouflon and the Bighorn Sheep getting some love. Really, really excited to be hunting those. One thing that is very interesting that I noticed, however, is there is no Canada Goose. However, we do have the Grey Lag Goose, which is not the move that I was expecting, but you know, I'll take it. 
I guess Canada geese are probably one of the more commonly used ones in all of these games. So to see them go with gray lag geese, it is a little bit of a breath of fresh air and then the other reserve has the Ross's goose, so not bad. I'd say it's still a decent lineup of geese and then we also have a few different duck species on the other reserve. But what I noticed is there's really no new duck species for the European reserve, which is interesting. And then the last three on here are the wild boar, the brown bear, and also the European hare. Now, I'm not really too much of a rabbit hunter, so European hare, you know, I could, I could leave it or take it, you know, it's not really anything too special to me, but still gonna be cool to see it in the game, I guess. Uh, same for wild boar, never really been too interested in pig hunting, so wild boar is, I, I could take it or leave it as well. But it'll be cool to see them. I know there are some people that really enjoy wild boar hunting. And maybe there's going to be some equivalent to like a hogzilla that we've been wanting to see in Call of the Wild for so long. And then as far as the brown bear, I'll be pretty excited to hunt those. I really want to see what they're like. We saw the black bears and my gosh, they are incredibly chunky. So I'm curious if the brown bear are going to be just as massive. It's hard to say, but I'm guessing they will be. And obviously, if a trailer gets released for the new species on the European Reserve, I will definitely be covering that as well, so stay tuned on the channel for that. However, right now we just have this list, so I figured I'd let you guys know about it. That way you can know what to expect out of the initial launch of Way of the Hunter, as these will be the two uh, different reserves that will be released on launch, and all of the species that come along with them. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you expect to see out of this game and what you're most excited for. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!